welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it is yoga rock aesthetic with the kinesthetics and we're here today with the vloggy vlog okay this vlog is going to be a few days of my life aka today and tomorrow because this video needs to go up on sunday but hey guys welcome to my youtube channel if you guys are new thank you guys so much for clicking on this video you have found your way to an amazing place on beyonce's internet so don't be scared okay if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much had to check my one too but if you guys are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for returning for another video before we get started do not forget to subscribe comment thumbs up turn on your bell notifications all of that stuff i feel a little rusty because i haven't vlogged all week but um long story short i went away and now i'm back <laughs> i literally ran one errand and now i'm about to go get some food because i feel like i haven't ate in so long like i feel like i'm deprived of nutrients and it's pouring outside as you guys can see but guess where i am y'all can see that y'all can see that of course i had to stop at kava so i'm about to go in and oh i think i did put an umbrella in my car yes i did shout out to y'all for telling me what y'all have in y'all car because i really listen to y'all in case y'all don't know if you guys are new i'm a new car owner I own the Jeep Wrangler 4XE 2022 Unlimited. So we got the four doors, period. But in that video, I asked you guys, like, what do you guys have in your car? And I literally put everything that you guys said in my car. So I have waters, I have paper towels, I have lotion, I have lip gloss, I have an umbrella. So on days when, you know, you think your car is your umbrella and then you got to step outside. Okay. But let me run in here real quick. And I'll share with you guys what I order. I get the same thing every time from Kava. So, it's nothing new, but I don't think I ever shared my order with you guys. So, we will get that done today. It's a whole hurricane outside, but for some reason, this girl wants to be out running errands. Oh Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good. Can I do a bowl with spinach and brown rice? Yes, please. And then can I do two scoops of the red pepper hummus? And then the grilled chicken. And then can I have two orders of pita chips, please? Fresh. Fresh. You gotta get them fresh. Yeah. And then I'll do the corn, tomato, and I'll do the, the chips. That's it for the bowl. And then I'll have the hot harissa vinaigrette and the garlic dressing on the side, please. gotta get the chips. That food was so good, but I didn't want to eat too much because baby, I would have fell asleep right inside a cup. But um, that's what I ordered. That's what it looks like. You gotta make sure you get the chips freshly made don't get the ones that's sitting out there like wait the five minutes or whatever it is and let them make you fresh chips and i promise you that you will thank me later what's i gonna say oh i'm vlogging on my phone because i don't know where my camera batteries are but i'll figure that out when i get home but i was just like i'm gonna start the vlog this clean okay i was like i want to start the vlog so let me just vlog on my phone because the quality be hitting once you wipe your camera off baby the quality be hitting but i think i'm gonna stop at home good since i'm already over here quick ootd sweatsuit is from retzia t-shirt forever 21 bag balenciaga and then i have on my everyday gray sneakers and yeah. I just put on something cute and comfy but it doesn't make sense but it looks cute so yeah 
I love when places have this because I do not want to touch your door. Uh, thank you. Like, am I supposed to be shopping for Christmas stuff now? This is so cute. This is fire. This is cute. It's about my office space. Baby, not for four hundred dollars. Oh, baby, not for four hundred dollars. This is why I don't like carrying umbrellas. I got it in a cart in Target. Okay, so I'm going to Ulta, but I have a good reason to go on Ulta because I don't really have hair products as I told you guys in my previous video. So I'm gonna go in here and see what I find. And I also need um a Ulta Kirkland's right here. I also need like a bonnet or something to, not a bonnet, my hair net. So I'm gonna see if they have it in here. But yeah, only necessary purchases. Hey guys, we are back on the Kizzy Cam. Okay, I found my batteries, charged them up, and we are back <laughs> with another day of the vlog. So today is Saturday, October 29th. And I'm about to get outside. I'm about to go outside to run some errands. And I got dressed and everything. I woke up late this morning. I woke up at like 11.30 and it's currently 1 p.m. Because I was tired, okay? I was tired and I just felt like yesterday I couldn't get much done efficiently because I was so tired. So I'm like, let me just take the time to rest. It's important for us to remind ourselves, like, it's okay to rest. Like, you don't always have to be on a hundred. You can sit down sometimes, okay? So... My look for today, I did this twist out using my TGIN Daily Moisturizer from TGIN, duh. <laughs> but it's like a twist out on Twisted here. So I don't really like twist outs on Freshy Wash here. I like them on Dirty here. Not Dirty here, but like y'all get what I'm saying. So that's this. Um, my skin, as I said, my morning skincare routine. Earrings are from Nordstrom. Oh, my nails! So I did press-ons yesterday. I soaked my brown nails off because it was just time for them to go. It was time for them to go. So I got these nails yesterday when I went to Ulta. They are press-ons from Kiss and they did a collab with Alice Olivia. Y'all can see it from here. I don't want to get too close because I had to do a lot of manipulation to get here. But these are them. I just think they're cool. They're funky. So yeah, I did these. And then my sweater thrifted. I got this from a thrift shop in New York. I already wore this outfit kind of sort of so my bag is christian dior i got this bag thrifting in la my jeans are coming from zara they are old but they're like this dark wash zara and then i'm gonna put on my kentucky dunk Hot. so i came back here to get my wallet because i'm literally about to head out the door and i was just like let me start my vlog for today oh i need my wallet and I have my keys, so yeah. Let us go, let us go. And these are the sneaks, just so you guys can see. These are the sneakers I put on with the outfit. Okay, so I just put gas in my car since I got it. <laughs> it's been half a month and I've been using a full tank, charging my car so I didn't have to put gas in it. But I just came real quick and I put $20 of gas in it because when I went to pick up my spare key yesterday, one of the guys who work like in the shop where I bought my car from, he's like, I'll bring you a car next week and I'll give you a full tank of gas, car wash, and detailing. And I said, say less. I'm about to head to TJ Maxx now, y'all. Oh my God, I cannot wait to show y'all this TJ Maxx because I came here the other day, like on Saturday, but I wasn't vlogging because I was like my day off. And babes, when I tell y'all this TJ Maxx, I saw Montclair's in there, I saw Ugg in there, I saw everything in there, but um, yeah, let's go because I don't like I don't like gas stations, so I don't even know why I'm vlogging right here. But I just had to check in with y'all real quick. Um, I have my card. Yeah, 
I have arrived, but um, I have arrived to TJ Maxx, and there is a Sally over here, a TJ Maxx, and a Marshalls and Home Goods. So I'm gonna go on all three, and there's also a Dollar Tree too. I don't think I need anything from there. Yeah, let's go. I'm so upset because I carry this little Dior bag with me, and it's cute for my outfit, but it really don't hold nothing. So. <laughs> Yeah, I just got home. It was a whole lot going on, okay? It was a lot going on. But your girl's home now. I bought a bunch of things. I'll show you guys either a little bit later today or tomorrow morning. You know I had to stop at Raising Kings when I was outside. Mm -mm -mm. I'm about to get ready to head to dinner with Ciara. So, yeah. I'm hustling and bustling. I have an, I have an idea of what I want to wear, but I'm not sold on it yet. I'll be back once I'm officially getting ready because I'm just trying to get everything in a clip. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see my office. Coming soon and moving vlog number five, so make sure y'all tune in when that video goes up. It should be up. This vlog is going up Sunday. That vlog should be going up Wednesday, I think. We'll see. But first things first, I need to find something to wear. I really wanted to wear. Let me show y'all. I really wanted to wear these shoes right here, but I don't think I have a top or like an outfit that could go with it. So, I don't know. And then I wanted to wear these Tom Ford heels because I never wore these before. But once again, I don't know. <laughs> Cause also I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie y'all. I honestly haven't been feeling like my body like I know I look good, but at the same time, I know I could look better. So certain things, I'm like, I want to save this outfit until my stomach is snatched. I want to save this stomach until, I want to save this outfit until this, until that. And I need to get out of that mindset. And that's something that only I could do. But I just wanted to share that because certain things I'm like, I could wear. Like this dress right here, I've been feeling to wear it. But you have to have a body yaddy yaddy to wear this dress right here. This is from Amazon, by the way. I'll link it down below. But you have to have a body yaddy yaddy to put that thing on. So... Yeah, just some random thoughts. But I might wear this top from Naked Wardrobe. This looks real good on my boots. Real good. These Tom Ford heels. I've never worn these before. 
but <laughs> she gonna have to bust them out tonight put them things on i kind of want to wear my a gold jeans because i love the way the shirt sits on top of it you guys are gonna see my louis vuitton bag this bag right here i think that's what i might wear this gives very fall-esque very fall-esque this bag I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready. I'm about to hop in the shower. So I'll be back when I'm doing my makeup so that you guys can just watch your girl get ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, guys. So I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick as I got ready. I'm not going to talk about the products I'm using. If you guys want to see what products I'm using, you guys can check out my everyday makeup which was a video i uploaded before this one so i'll link it up above in the cards and down below i just wanted to talk to you guys real quick because listen when i tell y'all that adulting is something each and every second each and every second but somebody well one of my friends asked me am i like how do i feel being in my house after over a month and honestly i low-key feel like it still hasn't hit me that like this is my house you know so i don't know what it's gonna take for that to hit me maybe like around the holidays i don't know but i'm just taking everything one day at a time i got my bed together so that was the most important thing for my bedroom my office i'm getting together now which you guys are going to see movie blog number five that i told you guys and then my living room is going to be my next task i already found a rug that i want for my living room but i need to size it before i order it and i'm waiting for black friday to get my tv because you know the girls have a sale you know the girls have a sale so everything's coming together well i'm taking my time also I own this house so it's no rush of like me having to furnish it because i'm only here for a year like you know when you have a lease most leases are a year so people rush to furnish their apartment because they're just like you know i'm only living here for a year i want to make sure i have all of my stuff so i'm not rushing in general because I'm, I'm comfortable like you know what i'm saying i have a roof over my head i'm grateful but at the same time i'm not like dragging my feet with it if that makes sense so I got some things I had today I'm really excited about. And I also started shopping for the holidays. I started recording Vlogmas Day number two, like content for that video. So I'm getting myself together. I'm getting myself together. I don't plan on taking any more trips besides going back like to New York for work. But other than that, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Also, I want to say something real quick. I share... Why am I holding a pen? Let me do my brows real quick because I'm in shampoo, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Who was I saying? I forgot, but... Yeah, it still doesn't hit me that I live here. Um, I hate adulting. <laughs> and, oh, my car. So, I really, 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 really 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 love my car i'm so happy that i decided to go with the jeep wrangler and i am still trying to decide on a name for her so here's the option it's either stormy with an i storm celine or i think chloe was the last option so you guys can comment down below let me know which one of those four choices you guys think i should name my car and by next week she will have a name which is very exciting at first, I wanted to call her Big Body Bertha or Big Bertha because she big. But when y'all said Stormy and so many people said Stormy, I'm like, okay. Okay, y'all onto something here. I haven't had to wear a mask in so long and I had to put one on the other day and my face is breaking out. Hell. That's that. But other than that, life's good. Life is great. I'm just trying to get myself in order. I'm also like on the journey of trying to like revamp my wardrobe because I have got, but I realized a lot of my stuff is super chill. I don't really have many things to wear like when it's time for a special occasion like going out to dinner or attending a uh, like you know fancy event so i'm currently on the journey of revamping my closet i got some pieces which i'm going to show you guys 
tomorrow or maybe later tonight i don't know it depends on what time i get home from dinner but yeah i just want to elevate my my wardrobe and elevating your wardrobe doesn't mean spending an arm and a leg so i'm going to show you guys exactly what i do i feel like it's important to focus on basics so that when you're putting things together you have like the basic essential pieces you need to create a look so I'm going to give you guys finally the basics haul that I told you guys that I would give you guys months ago. So that is coming. And I've also been thrifting a lot, babes. If you guys live in Houston or you guys plan on visiting Houston, make sure that thrifting is on your itinerary. Because when I tell you guys that thrift, I'm going to say here, but I also, to be fair, I didn't thrift like that when I was living in New York. So... That could be it too. So this is a fair comparison. But I'm just letting y'all know that thrift stores in Houston be having pieces. I'm going to do a video maybe in two weeks. Because I'm going to go. Yeah, in like two weeks. I'll do like a thrifting video to show you guys like places that I go. And things that you guys see me pick up. I'm going to do that video in two weeks. But I've just randomly been stopping into stores and picking things up. And I told myself that one day of each week is going to be a me day where I just do things for myself. I don't turn on the camera. I don't really go on my phone. I'm really just doing things for me and enjoying my day. So that day for me last week was on Saturday. And on that day, I stopped into a Buffalo Exchange. And I got some really good things. So I encourage you guys to thrift. It's sustainable. You find good pieces for a great price. I literally got a brand new Zara blazer with the tag still on it. The original price was $90 and I got it for $30 cash. Like, if that doesn't tell you that you need to be thrifting, I don't know what will. But I'll share those pieces with you guys later on in the vlog so you guys can see. But yeah, I've been thrifting, buying things on sale. Also, I'm going to do a fall fashion haul this coming week hopefully i'm waiting for like two or three more things to come in but i'm getting myself together i'm getting myself together i'm pushing out content that i know that i wanted to put out that i've just been held up from doing because of multiple reasons but that stuff is coming i also want to get more into press-ons i don't mind like the nail experience like you know going in to get a full set or a manicure but i haven't found a reliable nail tech in houston yet i honestly haven't been looking but also i just figured that press-ons give me the versatility that i want at this point in my life because i'm planning on recording with more content and it's important my nails are done when i record content so i feel like with press-on nails it's super easy for me to just give myself a new set or give myself a filling when things grow out versus me having to book an appointment two weeks in advance and predict on when my nails are going to need a filling because i hate this whole culture of having to book things a month or two or five in advance like i don't know in five months what day i'm going to need a filling so how can i book my appointment how can I book my appointment when your book's open, girlies? I just don't get it. Same for here, and I'm sure you guys can relate too. Same for lashes. It's just like, I want to be able to go in, like, the next day. That's the type of person I am. So, to solve my troubles, I'm just going to get more into press-on nails. So, you guys will see that content on my channel. I'm just trying things out, different shapes, different sizes, different looks. To see what I like, to see what I don't like, and then going from there. But these nails that I put on yesterday, they're cool. But I'm not sure about the shape of my nails. Like, I've never done, like, short... How would you call this? Like, oval? I've never done a short oval on my nails. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. But I also want to take some of them off and reshape them. Because the cuticles, babes, I told y'all, do not look too closely. Because the cuticles on some of them is real thick, okay? But, that is update on nails. Update on here is I need a trim. I need to trim real bad so next time i go home i'm gonna make sure that i squeeze myself into kim's chair so she could give me a trim because my sister be busy okay my sister be real busy and i love that for her i love that for her pockets but at the same time when i need my little squeezing it's so hard to get it now like some people ask me like oh can i like come see kim i need my hair done i'm like i have to book an appointment the same way as yeah <laughs> so i don't like that's 
my sister. I'm going to respect her business. I'm not going to be like, I'm your sister. So you have to. No, it's a business at the end of the day. This is how she eats. This is how she makes money. And I'm a thousand percent going to respect that the same way that I expect everyone to do with me. Like, you know, I'm a content creator. So when it comes to creating content, I have my my standards i have my expectations i have my requirements so i can't do all of that and then expect people to do whatever i want them to do you know what i'm saying so that's that on that and i have so much content to record tomorrow so my plan for tomorrow is to wake up have a nice early productive start to my day which i'm happy that we're going to dinner early so that means i can get home earlier get to my bed earlier and then wake up earlier tomorrow so tomorrow I'm going to go to my little spot that I like to go to to edit my videos. I'm not going to tell you guys because it's a place that I frequent. I'm going to go there, edit tomorrow's vlog, upload it, charge my car there because it's free. Oh, another thing about my car I want to say. So I told you guys this in my car reveal video that my car is hybrid, but the electric aspect of it only allows 22 miles on electricity after that the car is dead so that's something that i knew before i purchased the car but certain times i'm like i don't feel like filling up my gas tank so you know the electric 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 part electric aspect of this car would be real lit right now but it's just like you gotta charge a car if i charge a car in my house it takes 12 hours so i can put it to charge overnight but also my electricity bill <laughs> my electricity bill so i've just been charging my car outside the house because i'm just like i don't need any surprises when the bill pops up i don't i don't i don't so yeah um speaking of electricity bill i want to let y'all know people always say like you know living in outside of new york is so cheap babe my i'm gonna tell y'all this i don't really like getting into like you know dollars prices how much i spend on things but my most expensive utility bill Today, because we still haven't experienced the winter yet. So, you know, winter things be jumping up when you put the heat on, when you, you know, use the oven more. But, um, my most expensive uh, utility bill right now is my Wi Fi. <laughs> my Wi Fi. And my Wi Fi is less than $100, close to $100, but not $100. Y'all could do the math. Y'all get what I'm saying. But, I still know that to say my utilities are pretty inexpensive, which I'm excited about. But that's something that I knew before. I bought this house because this house is also like energy efficient. So the way the windows are situated and all of that, it helps with the like to keep the electricity bill down. So that was something else that attracted me to this house because I'm like, okay, I'm buying this house and it's also going to save me on electricity. Say less. So my electric bill honestly isn't that much, but you know at first when you get a new place, whether you're renting or you buy a house, you have to pay like setup fees, you have to pay activation fees, you have to pay, you know, just the startup costs. And then after that, it's pretty much smooth sailing. So I'm at that smooth sailing phase and I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I'm really excited. And I don't know, I'm just trying to give y'all updates on random things that you guys comment about, or ask me about, or seem interested in. A lot of people ask, well not a lot of people, but some people commented on my New York blog like, do you still work in New York? I told y'all in my church chat video, I still have the same job. And that's all I'm going to say. Because I don't really like talking about work because I'm just like, I don't know if they're watching my videos. They do. Hey, thanks for viewing. But yeah, that part of my life is separate from this, so I like to seven great things you know so that's what's going on it's currently 7 34 and i said i'll be done by 7 30 i'm almost done now and then i just gotta pop my outfit on so i'm not in love with how my makeup came out today it's all right but i'm also trying to figure out if i want to put a vanity in my bedroom so oh you guys could comment and let me know and i'll you know take your thoughts into consideration but i'm trying to figure out if i want to put a vanity in my bedroom so that i could sit there and do my makeup so i'm either thinking of doing that like underneath the area where the tv would be kind of thing but i don't know if i'm putting a tv yet a lot of people well people are like 50 50 like i have a tv in my bedroom i don't have a tv in my bedroom and cabbie was telling me she's like trust me you're gonna want a tv in your bedroom and i'm like oh i don't know i don't know because i could also lay on the couch and watch tv when i do get my couch so 
I don't know what I want to do with that, but I am considering whether I want to put a vanity in my room. Because, I mean, standing up to my makeup is cool. But also, when I bring the rest of my makeup down from New York, I'm just like, where am I going to put it? Kind of thing. So comment and let me know, but I'm thinking of putting the vanity like across from my bed and then putting like a love seat on the other side or like a reading chair in the corner if I don't put the vanity. So let me know what you guys think about bedroom setup. You guys can let me know and then I'll include that in moving vlog number six perhaps. So that's what's going on. I was going to put on lashes, but do I feel like fighting with the lash right now? I don't think so. I haven't put on lashes in so long. I don't even know if I could still pop a lash on. I don't know. That's like when I put my car. I'm like, do I still remember how to drive? Because I don't drive often. I drive my friend's car in New York like time to time. But down here, I don't drive for like a month. Because I got the rental when I got here to help. And even with that. That brand to experience, babes. When I tell y'all that I wanted to part ways with her, so freaking bad. I was just like, that's not the gloss. I wanted to part ways with her so bad. And if you know me, you know I mess with her. So for me to say that, it was a very big thing. Like, I had a crack on chill, cause something. On the highway hit my windshield and a crack and it kept like the crack kept spreading and then I ran over a nail well the windshield was covered by the insurance that I had on my rental agreement and then I ran over a nail and that insurance was not included on my rental agreement so I had to come out of pocket and get a new tire for their car I'm just like whatever and then yeah, it just ended up costing me more than I wanted it to. Because y'all know me. I want everything to be $6. I'm so late, but my hair got a little frizzy in the shower. Why am I shaking my perfume like this? My scent of the night and my shirt got dirty, but I'm not changing. I'm sorry. My scent of the night is MFK Oud Satin Mood. This stuff is so good. This is my go-to sexy nighttime fragrance. So I ended up changing my jeans because the other jeans were just casual let me leave out now i'll vlog on my phone and i bring i have to bring my light too i can't even speak right now i'll see y'all in the car <laughs> <laughs> Dumb heels had to come. Oh, first of all, I could not drive with my freaking shoe on because these shoes are cute, 
but they get like seesaw. Like you want to be straight or you want to be tip on your toe. So I had to take these off to drive home, but. Okay, so I'm back home. I left my AC on and I hate for it to be cold that night. So I'm literally shaking my boots right now. It was cold. I was cold at the restaurant after a while and I was um, cold outside. I even had to turn on the heat to drive home. But um, I'm home now. We rated the place like an 8.5 out of 10. We went to Warwick in Houston. I think that's in like the Midtown area. I'm not sure. I'll have the info on the screen. But it was cool. We didn't get food food. We just got like appetizers and drinks. I'm like shivering because I'm so cold. But we just got appetizers and drinks. I got the lemon pepper wings. They were good. But they weren't really giving lemon pepper. Now that I think about it, it just gave like fried wings with like a dash of mustache on it. Ciara got the... um the truffle fries and she said they were good they look different than usual truffle fries i don't know they slice the potatoes differently but she said it was good and the drinks were good we got the warwick margarita and she got a lemon drop and we liked both of them and yeah we gave it an 8.5 out of 10 because the music and the vibes in there were good as you guys saw like oh, i'll tell y'all that it wasn't many people in there, which I like too like it wasn't packed we walked and we didn't do a reservation and we were able to like get a seat probably like five minutes after both of us got there so yeah dinner was cool it was nice looking up with my girl and having some girl time so yeah but i'm about to get ready for bed i'm gonna take my makeup off and put on a sweatsuit because it's literally freezing in my house like i walked in and i'm like how did i forget to turn the air off i hate when it's cold at night and it already gets cold at night so what you got the ac on for girl like do you have extra money for electricity i need to know uh, hey guys it is the next day and i wanted to come back on here to show you guys what i got yesterday before i close off the vlog so i'm gonna start off with those items that i told you guys that i picked up from buffalo exchange last saturday so yeah so remember how i told you guys i got that zara blazer that was brand new still has a tag on it got it for literally one third of the price this is she. This blazer is so cute. So it's a houndstooth blazer. And it closes with this. Um, it has just like a little clip. But it has this button here. That's just for design I guess. Um, it has shoulder pads. So it fits really really nice. I can't wait to style this. And this is the. I don't know if it's a current Zara item or not, but this is the item reference and this tag, y'all see, $89.90. And look how much I paid, 30 cash at Buffalo Exchange. So I got this, and this is a size medium, but it fits well. Is it TRF? No, I think it's just Zara Woman. So I got that, and then I also got this dress. After research, this is, I don't wanna say a boutique brand, but it's like an Instagram brand. But they got cute stuff so i never heard of it before this is the name of the brand it's a meek like meek mill and this is a dress it's like a mesh dress but at the bottom it gives like skater and the arms are flared i can't wait to put this on obviously it's see-through so i do plan on wearing this with my wolford, wolford bodysuit underneath just to give like you know coverage so this is it. I paid $16 for it. It says it's a size large on the Buffalo Exchange tag, but on the item tag, I don't see a size. So, okay. So, yesterday, I really wanted to wear those high heels that I showed you guys with the feathers on it. So, I was just like, that I could probably just pop into a thrift store and get like a top, a blouse, or a blazer that has like, you know, some type of coloring in it. That'll complement the shoes, but I didn't find anything. But what I did find is a jacket. So, I was just browsing, 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 and I came across this jacket right here. This jacket is so fire. It gives like an 80s feel. Let me put it on real quick for y'all to see. But I picked this up from Leopard Lounge. I showed you guys Leopard Lounge in like a previous Houston vlog where I was thrifting, but I just popped in there. I didn't really vlog because I was literally in and out, and I saw this jacket, and I'm like, I have to get it. So this is a jacket, it's real cute, it's real sporty. Love the fit, it has a hood, but I can go ahead and tuck the hood into like the collar. 
like so. But this jacket is so cute. So I can see myself wearing this jacket with my court purple ones, a pair of sunnies, because y'all know me. And it was only $32, I think. Yeah, it was $32.95, and on the tag it says it's a size, no size? Yeah, no size, but this is the brand that it's from. So, yeah, I got this jacket, super excited about that. And then, you guys saw I went to TJ Maxx. <laughs> Yeah, TJ Maxx down here is, I don't want to say high end compared to their sisters, but it gives like luxury. It gives like, I'm trying to be the bigger brand. I'm trying to be the more, you know? So at TJ Maxx, uh, some TJ Maxx is down here, they have runway at TJ Maxx, and it's basically like designer items. So I showed you guys, they have like Gucci, they have Montclair, they have Ugg. They have um, Ragbone, they have Theory, they have so many different brands and they're discounted. But I went in there last Saturday and then I went in there yesterday and a lot of the things that I saw last week were on sale this week. So I went ahead and picked up two items. So the first thing that I got is this sweater. So it's a Ragbone sweater and the original price of this sweater is $450. 450 cash and the TJ Maxx price was 130 but I ended up paying $80 for this sweater which I think is a great buy this sweater is so good quality like it's very thick I love the coloring on it I will wear this sweater with like a white button up underneath or on its own and I'm getting my ways out of it okay but um the items that are from Runway at TJ Maxx, in order to return it, just so you guys know, it has to have the purple tag on it, number one. It has to have the red tag on it. So this is something that you could remove at home. The lady at the store showed me how to remove it. So you could make, you have to make sure you have this on to return it and then you have to have your receipt, just so you guys know. So I got this sweater and then I got a pair of pants. And I showed you guys how both of these items fit. Let me hold on seat now. I got these jeans. These are from the brand Redone. I always see this brand at Nordstrom, but I just can't bring myself to pay the regular price for these. So the regular price is $90, TJ Maxx price, but compared at $175. And it was on sale for $59. But I like these jeans because they're like a different wash. They're described as a 90s high rise high rise loose fit but they're like a different wash which I don't think I've ever seen before and they're straight like pants they do fit a little loose right now but I'll probably either get them tailored or you know your girl just be gaining weight by the day so they'll probably end up fitting so that is everything that I picked up recently I just want to give you guys a little haul so you guys can stay on top of when I get my new things and that is basically it for this vlog. So I'm going to end the vlog here so that I can have enough time edit it and put it up for you guys today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys made it all the way until the end of this video, comment down below with an emoji that has yellow in it. And let me know your favorite part of this week vlog or days of my life vlog or weekend vlog. Whatever y'all want to call it. Comment down below and let me know your favorite part. I will have all of the items that I mentioned in today's video down below if I can find a link for them. And that's it. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your bell notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Say what I wanna hear, cause you know it's gonna get me here. Every time I say that.